So first off, before I even continue with this video, I just want to say thank you for 7.9k subscribers. I really appreciate that. And I apologize if you do hear any noise out in the back, uh, outside. My neighborhood is fucking trash. I mean, just need y'all to accept that. But there is something that a goon, aka a subscriber of mine, I call him a goon because he's in my goon's Discord server. The link to that will be in the description if you want to join and hop in and shit. But uh, this person, not going to say his name to protect the innocence, but... Uh, this person that I'm going to show y'all, this nigga ain't going to be innocent for two reasons. Nah, three reasons, actually. Uh, the first reason, not so much, but the two reasons, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to protect this nigga's name. Because it seems that when, 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 when big names get a hold of, you know, beloved icons that are coming back to the gaming industry for, for some strange reason, you know, or just, you know, series that haven't seen the light of day in a while that's now trending or popping or whatever, you know, anything to get the money, you know, um, you know, they seem to get their facts wrong. They seem to say some really fucking stupid shit. So today we're going to be looking at a video that a subscriber slash loyal viewer of mine have sent me. So we're going to check this guy out. His name is Codename Pizza. You know, I have ad block on because I'm not, you know, let, let's just refresh and I'll show y'all why I have ad block on because when, when you see all those yellow, those yellow dots, rectangles in the timeline of the video, the 72 minute fucking video. You have, uh, those are called mid-roll ads. When you make a video longer than 10 minutes, uh, you have a right to put ads in them. You know, in, if you feel like a viewer has watched a, um, a certain section of a video long enough, you know, in order for them to get a break, so then you get a break by getting your money while having a break, if that makes any sense. But, I am not gonna have ad block, I mean, not, I'm not gonna have ad block off when watching this shit, because there's just something here that... It's really gonna break your fucking brain, and you know it's it's just gonna we just we're just gonna look at it for a sec. So let's uh, right, everyone's good. uh f okay. So for one, uh, first L. Again, this is not really much. I just thought I'd point this out. This guy's not even playing the game. He downloaded. He didn't even wait. He didn't even download the footage. First off, he's recording the footage. So we're watching a recording of a recording of a recording of Crash gameplay right now. So I just want to throw that out there. And the second thing that we have to uh, we have to we have to witness here is uh, some headassery statement that I've probably never heard in like the 19 years of my goddamn life. So we're gonna play this. And uh, yeah, let's 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 just see what this guy says. I got the email saying you coming down to London to play Chris Matic. I was like, yes. <laughs> so I got the play. It was good. You got the. All right. You know what? All right. Maybe he got the play. It. Maybe he. Uh. Maybe he couldn't record footage, and maybe he just had to. Uh, maybe he could have record footage at where he played it, so maybe he had to record footage online, but still, my nigga, you could have downloaded the video at least. Original Crash Bandicoot trilogy on my Xbox. Original Crash Bandicoot trilogy on my Xbox. Original Crash Bandicoot trilogy on my Xbox. He played the original Crash Bandicoot trilogy on the motherfucking Xbox. But the last time I- he must have got confused with the, the green logo or something. Oh shit! He must have got confused with the green label or some something like that. Cause last time I checked, the the PS1 games, the Crash Bandicoot trilogy was on the PlayStation One, and not the PS2, not the PS3, not the PS4. Well, I think it's gonna be on the PS4 and remade, uh, and not the fucking uh, PS5 and not the Xbox and not the Wii, the NES, the S, the SNES, none of that shit. This nigga must have got it confused with Wrath of Cortex or something because my nigga, this is just some bonker ass statement. First, we had Unlisted Leaf, who, you know, we already know how that story went. Just go back to my Skylanders Imaginators Crash Bandicoot figurine unboxing. And then we had this one dude, I forgot his name, but one day he said Crash wasn't coming back, and then he came back, then he did a video on it, looking like a head ass. And then we had Ghost Robo doing a Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy walkthrough series as if the game was already out. So he got like a million views on that shit. And then we had uh, Mortal Kombat Fire and Ice, I think that's the guy's name, who uploaded the Crash Remastered uh, Contest uh, idol contest entry video or some shit, you know, it, it seems to me like, I feel like, now I don't, don't want to be that guy, but it kind of feels like there's some type of, uh, there's some type of propaganda or negotiate or some, some shit going on with, uh, big YouTubers, and for some reason these big guys 
lack of the knowledge. They have they have these big guys have so much little knowledge on the series that us little guys have so much knowledge on and it just feels really strange to me when I see um, in the comment section that no one actually pointed out that this nigga set this shit and it's 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 just kind of weird to me you know like <laughs> Let, let's just get onto the video because this shit is just fucking stupid so initially I was going to do a video on Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider only because PlayStation did a poll on what level people wanted to see for Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, Remastered for the Insane Trilogy, but because they put out so much fucking footage today up the ass from this event or something like that, um, you know, I didn't really know what to do, I just came back from farewell, I was really trying to wrap my head around everything that was just going on, I've seen Road Crash or Hog, whatever the I've seen the motorcycle level, I've seen the medieval level, I've seen all of the levels, you know, that Crash 3 is very iconic for, and all that, and one of my good friends, Square Jack, has been very indifferent about the Insane Trilogy, his feelings are on and off, and all I gotta say is, I can understand why people feel as though you might think he's wrong with, uh, you know, his opinion on the Crash 3 thing, but I don't blame him in the slightest, to be honest, and I would just say to leave him alone, and don't waste your energy trying to change his feelings or trying to give him a different perspective because for a while now he has been feeling indifferent however he loved how the first two games looked but when he saw warped it made him have a reason to have some type of concerns with this title so that's really all i can say on that matter but in terms of crash bandicoot 3 itself uh the remastered version anyway um it is looking good in my opinion it's looking good uh there could be a few tweaks here and there just based from what i have observed personally as I see this footage, at least of the medieval level, or just Crash 3 itself, you know, the remastered version, I feel as though it doesn't have the same substance as the original Crash Bandicoot 3, and that's not a bad thing. Earlier, I, you know, in my past videos, I've mentioned, you know, don't be surprised if the Insane Trilogy is different. You know, Vicarious Visions have made Crash games before in the Game Boy Advance. They have a different feeling in comparison to the original PS1 game. So when you say the Insane Trilogy doesn't feel as this, you know, doesn't feel the same as the original trilogy. And then you even say that the GBA titles don't feel the same as well. It's completely understandable. It's not you being indifferent in an excessive manner, of course depending on how you're expressing your feelings. If you had the same feelings for the GBA games by Carrier's Visions Man, and you had the same feelings for the Insane Trilogy, I think that's perfectly fine. You know, especially when it's, you know, getting revisited in some different type of way, shape, or form, because in a sense, Entrance and the Huge Adventure just crashes two and three, just mixed together with their own little twists. So when you look at the Insane Trilogy, and acknowledge that Vicarious Visions also made the original GBA titles. I think it's okay to feel indifferent, but I don't think it's worth getting, I don't want to say attacked for, but um, scolded on for, I suppose. Also, what I think a lot of people struggle to understand or struggle to know, rather, because facts are important, but I think a lot of people need to understand that Vicarious Visions didn't get any guidance from Naughty Dog. They might have had a little bit of assistance, but Naughty Dog mostly gave Vicarious Visions permission or, you know, were lenient enough to let them have their own twists or take on the original trilogy with this remaster from the ground up. So Naughty Dog has no type of affiliation when it comes to this project so it's all vicarious visions it's not vicarious visions trying to be exactly like naughty dog it's not vicarious visions trying to be better than naughty dog it's not vicarious visions trying to be worse than naughty dog if people actually legitimately think that the trilogy is not that great that's what i think a lot of people need to understand here as well vicarious visions are doing this in their own way, in the most respectful way as best they can to their ability to capture the essence of the Crash Bandicoot PS1 trilogy, even though, in my opinion, just based on what I have observed, it doesn't capture the same substance, which is why I personally want a new game. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the whole matter, and I hope you guys understand, hope I addressed this pretty well, and I hope I wasn't too bad in any sense or way i don't know my mind's all over the place expect a stream later tonight as well but yeah i'll catch y'all later thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video whenever if ever peace Who are
Y'all to be criticizing the youth. You don't even act your age, and I'm just speaking the truth. They taking pills. You talking about who your heater is? Shoot, who better? You both wrong, so I don't see the dispute. I'm like. Rest in peace, pun big in your pot Yeah, the golden era is gone, but I'ma get me a spot I'm 36, so what? You can't get me to stop When Tech 9 is 45 and still sit at the top I'm saying, I'ma keep doing me and be consistent Knock on the door until it open and be persistent I'm just a hair limp from success, I see the distance Standing up, ten toes down, I don't need assistance Bang!